Hi there, um, I'm often asked uh, what is my favourite game bit? Obviously it's a lot of sort of birds, large mammals, etc. But um, my answer often surprises people. Now, if I could only choose one game bit to do for the rest of my life, it would be hair, and specifically sort of the European brown hair. But it, it's really sort of interchangeable with what the Americans you'd know as uh, Jack Rabbits, or my sort of family in Scandinavia would call the, the blue hair or the mountain hair. Uh, now, it's, it's a real common misconception that people think hair is basically just like a big rabbit. But in, in cooking terms, it's very different. And you're better off thinking of, of hair almost like a, a small deer rather than a big rabbit. It's very dark meat, very rich meat, far more like venison. So it's very lean like venison, but has that really nice dark, rich texture to it. Uh, and today, what I'm going to be cooking with hair is one of my favourite hair dishes. Which is, a, which is a, a sort of Italian inspired dish. Now, a few years ago, um, my wife and I were in, uh, in Verona and we we're having dinner in this lovely courtyard. And uh, we saw a dish called um, Lepre alla Amarone. And um, for those of you who know, Amarone is sort of a very strong, potent, very rich, fruity red wine from, from northern Italy. And um, what this was is it was slow cooked hair cooked in a, in a sauce predominantly made of Amarone and served over Papadelli pasta, so very, very thick um, strips of, uh, of fresh pasta. Uh, and it was absolutely delicious, so this is something that we've sort of tried to recreate at home. Again, trying to simplify it for, for the home cook. And um, we cook it predominantly in a, in a slow cooker. So what, what I've got here is I've had the, um, the legs and the shoulders taken off a, off a brown hair and I've sort of basically left them with all the bones on. Just brown them ever so slightly. So sort I of put them into the slow cooker pot. In a pan, I've got some onions and mushrooms, just sort of, uh, just softening really. You don't want to cook them through, but I always think it's best to soften them a bit before put them in the slow cooker. Now, in the slow cooker itself, we're gonna add the onions, the mushrooms. We're also going to be adding in the tomato puree, some red wine, but not too much, uh, some parsley uh, and some garlic and a little bit of beef stock as well. So in this, you can get away with using like one of the little stock pots. Because clearly you don't want to add too much moisture. Uh, you'd be surprised how much moisture actually comes out of all of the ingredients during the cooking. You can always add more, but it's very hard to take moisture out without, without extracting flavor as well. So we're gonna put all of those ingredients into the slow cooker and uh, then we're gonna put it onto a, a low setting for four hours. And then we're gonna sort of come back and look at then stripping the meat off the bone and turning that into a, a great pasta sauce. So it's uh, four hours later now. And um, what we've done is we've taken all of the joints out. We've shredded the meat off the bone. Uh, and just put it in a plate on the side. We then put the uh, the sauce itself onto just a medium heat. So, not to turn this is on five. You see, we're just th thickening that up now to make it a little bit richer. Uh, in the pan here, we've just got some pappardelle now starting to cook. So now that we've reduced this sauce down a bit and got a bit of a thick consistency, just going to add all this lovely meat and it's amazing how much you get of two legs and two shoulders you know again you think of a hair even if it's only in size you think of it as being a, a big rabbit uh, this is a lot of meat you know this is a four person maybe even a six person meal particularly with the, the pasta um, and you can see there as well very dark so much darker than rabbit people think compare rabbit to chicken this is in no way chicken as I said earlier, it's far more like a venison dish. So now really, we've got a really thick sauce here. We're just gonna keep that warming whilst we cook the pasta through. Uh, and as soon as this pappardelle is done, we're gonna toss this all together and um, finish off with uh, just a little bit of parmesan.